stabbed the bottle once and then he drank it all in one second. And that helped. Yeah. Oh, Ben. Hello and welcome back to the Formula Blue coming to you again from Mansell Raceway on the 26th of May 2019 for the 2019 Formula Blue O-Plate Final. We have Duncan McLeod, the number two, the intrepid, lining up on pole ahead of James Rees's number 71 Octane and Ben Pearson's number seven Octane. And Stuart Gray in the first of the Tony Karts, number 16, will be lining up in fourth place. Second, third and fourth were decided on a tie break with Rees, Pearson and Gray having equal points after the three heats today. So it's going to be settled on their heat one finishing position which was won by James Rees ahead of Ben Pearson. Stuart Gray with the fastest lap of the race could only manage sixth in heat one starting from further back. But that's going to settle those guys out. David Watt's going to be fifth behind ahead of the reigning O-Plate champion Mitchell McLeod starting sixth. And the current championship leader, the number one Anthony Cleal down in seventh. Mike Bell, Russell O'Neill and Gavin Rees in his first Formula Blue race ran out the top 10 ahead of Rob Mortimer, Luke Latimer, Taylor Waldron, Robin Stoddard Stones, Ron Schoen, David Waldron, Paul Alexander, David Good, Sarita Schoen, Philippe Essink, Hannah McLeod, Alex Fortune, Kevin O'Neill and Nigel Vickery rounding out the 24 kart strong grid here at the 1200 meter Mansell Raceway circuit. Nice and wide, lots of room for overtaking manoeuvres. Uh, you see the 35, Paul Alexander on the left. And on the right, the number 67, the all-red Gillard, Nigel Vickery in his last race on Novice Plates. Thank you very much, Mike. We're uh, just coming to the end of the formation lap. I'm your commentator, Kate Penny, and uh, I will be talking you through this 10-minute race here from Mansell Raceway. You see there uh, Duncan McLeod at the front. James Reese not quite with him yet, but uh, Reese will hopefully line up alongside him. Uh, ah, there he is. Yep, there we go. James Reese just coming through there, so uh, slightly out of position, uh, but I think he will be back into position by the time we get. And he's not, and we're actually being waved around for another formation lap, so an aborted start there. And why would that be, Mike? I say it looked like the uh, number 101 Luke Latimer potentially having trouble getting going on the grid, so they'll go around and they'll pick him up going through pit bend again and then Latimer will have to take his position back on the grid. Remember this is a special uh, yearly special event for the O-Plate, not decided by first across the line, it is decided by grid plus final. So currently Duncan McLeod on pole is in the uh, favourite position to come away with the O-Plate because James Rees alongside has to beat him by two places in order to, uh, to outscore him. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we just Coming through to the uh, end of the second formation lap, and uh, hopefully we will be uh, running for good at the end of uh, of this one. Uh, you see there, James Rees coming out the final corner, quite a way ahead of Duncan McLeod, but that's okay because McLeod is the pole sitter. He determines the pace here, uh, coming up to the uh, the rolling start. It's going to be McLeod on his right hand side, with uh, James Rees alongside him to the left, and. Uh, when McLeod drops the anchor, we will be underway here at Mansell, and it's go. And uh, that's a slow start there for James Reese. He's really dropping back, and look at Pearson. Pearson goes to the inside of McLeod and leads him somewhat around in the background. Goes uh, Stuart Gray. So a big spin there, and uh, Michael Bell's gone off in avoidance. So a couple of drivers really hampered at the back there, but it's Pearson leading around from McLeod, and then I think Watts and Field. Yeah, poor start from James Rees, he's been absolutely mugged, there he is being passed by Rob Mortimer and David Waldron even, but uh, great start from Ben Pearson, you can see there, something's up, it looks like Duncan McLeod is slowing, Watts goes through, Cleo goes through as well, so potentially problems for both of the front row starters. Yeah, let's see um, how he's running as we cross the start finish line. He's going to be the fourth car through a shot. And you see him bouncing there, trying to get the speed. He's getting mugged. So I think there is a real problem there for uh, Duncan McLeod, our pole sitter. Uh, I saw that he uh, didn't get the best of starts. Much better one, of course, than James Reese, but uh, just got uh, beaten to turn one. And uh, yeah, he's, he's really dropping back there. In fact, he's lifting the carburetor. Uh, the carburetor. So uh, real problems for Duncan McLeod, and that's a huge shame there. And that means that uh, Pearson's leading 
uh, from Wurt, Cleo and uh, McLeod. And, uh, and there you go as uh, he loses more and more positions. And that's really, really gutting there uh, for our pulse hitter, Duncan McLeod. Looks like you can see there Gavin Rees making up another place on Taylor Baldwin. And there's Duncan McLeod. He's, at this point, he's just cruising it back. He's being overtaken by everyone. Philippe Essing goes through. Nigel Vickery going through. And out of the top, Ben Cleal now up to second. Yeah, Cleal up to second. Incidentally, uh, McLeod is actually already our third retirement as we lost Luke Latimer on the opening lap of the race. Uh, and also, uh, Hannah McLeod didn't even make the start. So a couple of retirements already. Cars going side by side there down into turn one. And uh, that there would have been uh, Paul Alexander going side by side with uh, Sarita Schoen. And uh, I think making the, uh, the move stick. Uh, but yeah, whatever the case, three cars out already, and uh, it's just gutting that uh, McLeod was one of them. Right, now that now that Cleo has uh, released himself uh, from what, as uh, there Michael Bell goes up the inside of, uh, uh, that would be uh, Nigel Vickery, sorry. Uh, can Cleo start setting about uh, chasing down Pearson for the lead, potentially? Well, Pearson's been quick all day, but so too has Cleo and Watts, so I think it's still anybody's game up in that top three. And Mitchell McLeod with a good start up into fourth already. Fastest lap from Cleo last time around though, so he is absolutely charging. Uh, Russell O'Neill has passed Taylor Wilson for sixth place, so there's a change there. And also Rob Mortimer is up into ninth ahead of uh, Robin Scott at Stones. David Good has passed Alex Fortune for 15th place. And uh, Michael Bell, uh, well we saw him passing uh, Ni uh, Nigel Vickery of course, uh, for that uh, 18th position at the back. Uh, but as you see, it appears to be that uh, the top three are breaking away a bit uh, on this, uh, this opening lap of the race. Uh, Pearson, Cleal and, uh, and Wurt. And uh, as we come through to complete another lap of racing, that's how, uh, that's how the order stands. If you look back, Gavin Rees now starting to reel in Mitchell McLeod and Russell O'Neill up to six. Usually runs a bit of an outlier on gearing, so he'll be really quick down the straights. We'll have to see what he can do later on in the race. Through to complete another lap through into turn two. And uh, David Watts was fastest on that last lap, fastest of anyone in the race so far. Uh, so while uh, Cleo is catching uh, Ben Pearson, it's rated roughly three tenths of a second per lap. Watts is catching uh, Cleo as well. So the top three really starting to close in there. And it's definitely not a, a, a sealed deal already, even though Pearson was able to, uh, to really get away there in the carnage at the start. And uh, this field has really started to, uh, to swap on its head because, of course, uh, Watt is up from fifth on the grid. In fact, Cleal ahead of him is up from seventh on the grid. So an amazing start from uh, Anthony Cleal there. And uh, by the end of uh, that three, he was already up into second place, uh, which is where he stands now. So Cleal charging and uh, obviously just in the groove today going after uh, Pearson, and again, another fastest lap of the race from Anthony Field. Indeed it is, there's Gavin Rees on the tail of Mitchell McLeod, but of the top three at the moment, currently Ben Pearson looking in a good spot to come away with the O plate, but it's, uh, it's definitely very close between the first three of them. There's only a couple of points in it as it stands. And uh, near the back as well, we've had a couple of uh, other overtakes, uh, Philip Essing, has passed uh, Alex Fortune for, uh, for 16th place and uh, Stuart Gray has already started his recovery drive passing Nigel Vickery for 19th position uh, that's a, a swapped position whoa as you see the uh, number five cut there really kicking out the tail that would be that uh, Rust O'Neill uh, entering the uh, the chicane and there's a move and that would be for fourth place that's Gavin Reese going up the inside of uh, Mitchell McLeod and making it stick there for fourth place as David Watts sets the fastest lap and they're all over each other. That's Robin Starr, Stone, Sarita Schoen, and Paul Alexander. It looks like they've all gone in there together. David Good looking to try and capitalise, but battles are plenty. This train starting in 10th place at David Waldron, lasting until 15th. David Good with Philip Essing and Mike Bell looking to try and close the gap. Indeed, that's a, uh, a really, really large chain going at it. Uh, roughly four seconds separating uh, probably seven or eight cuts, but whatever the case, the leader's definitely getting even closer. Let's see what the lap times are like at the end of that lap. Uh, Clear and Lebois setting pretty much exactly the same lap time. Uh, and actually, it's two tenths of a second faster than, uh, than Pearson, so they are catching him. And they are right on his tail. There is nothing separating uh, the three of them there. 
uh, well, there is something, but I'd estimate it to be roughly uh, two tenths of a second after, at maximum there, as uh, they exit turn three and head up towards uh, turn four. And uh, who's going to make the move first? Will Cleal attack uh, Pearson? Uh, or is he going to be attacked by uh, by Woods? I can't help but feel that he's in a, an attack or be attacked situation. And uh, here they come out of the uh, the top bend. And Cleal does take a look there actually. He takes a, a very speculative look going up towards the, uh, the chicane. Although, uh, of course, you have to be right alongside your opponent to uh, actually go for a proper overtaking opportunity there. Uh, Piercy sets his first best lap of the, uh, the race so far, but still loses time uh, to, uh, to Watts in third place. Yeah, it looks like Watts is definitely the quickest of the three of these guys at the moment, but he's sat behind both. As you see, back down to the battle for 10th, all coming into turn one together. This is a big long line from David Waldron in 10th to Mike Bell down in 17th, all on top of each other. But you can see there the lead group, Cleo looking at Pearson, going up into the top bend. Out of the uh, final corner again, leaders just about to come into shot, and Cleo has a much better run, and they're going three wide! Three wide as David Watts comes up the inside and has to back out of it. They both back out of it, in fact, it, uh, well. It's a good job they realised that there was no overtaking opportunity there uh, because it definitely looks as if they were going for it. Uh, although that would have ended in tears, they weren't far enough alongside. And uh, goodness me, just about staying in at the same order and staying in at one piece. Still be, uh, Pearson from Cleo from, uh, uh, from Woods. But uh, my goodness, that was close. Yeah, Watts thinking about making it three wide, back and out doing the sensible thing, but this race is not over yet. They're going to be receiving the last lap board on the way past the start line this time by, so they're running out of time to make anything happen. Also, at Startup Stones has got past Alexander for 14th, and look at Cleo! Cleo's got a much better exit, and he's up the inside into the chicane. Anthony Cleo takes the lead on the penultimate lap of the race. Extremely well done as they go into the final lap. Pearson comes back at him into turn one. But there's no room on the outside. Cleo hangs him out. And uh, Pearson comes back in there again up into turn two. He's going to be on the outside line. And uh, that might well give... Oh, it does give Watts a chance. And Watts is up the inside for second. I think Watts got that there. Uh, up in the second place. We'll have to see how they are as uh, they come through. Uh, well, this is actually the final lap. So there's not going to be any more opportunities. But I think that Anthony Cleo on the penultimate lap has sealed the deal. It sure looked that way, and as Watts was going side by side on the way out of turn three behind the spectators, we're going to have to see who gets the line first, Caitlin. Indeed, here they come through the uh, chicane, and there's the checkered flag, and who does it wave for? I think it's going to be Anthony Cleal. Indeed, Cleal wins ahead of Watts in second, so Watts got second. Third place was Ben Pearson, fourth is Gavin Reese. Fifth place was taken on the final lap by uh, Rust O'Neill there. In fact, Mitchell McLeod lost two places. James Reese is up into sixth. McLeod is, uh, is seventh. Then it's Waldron, Mortimer, uh, Waldron, that's uh, Taylor, of course, ahead of uh, David. Then Ron Schoen, Sharita, uh, Sharita Schoen, Robin Stoddart Stones, Paul Alexander, David Good, Philip Essing, Michael Bell, Kevin O'Neill, Alex Fortune. Nigel Vickery, unfortunately we lost Stuart Gray a couple of uh, laps ago, we didn't pick up on that, but whatever the case, 20 of our 24 entrants uh, finished this race, and uh, what a race it was, there you see the order, and you see the top two there separated by just four tenths of a second, that's how close it was at, uh, at the end there, with uh, what's taking second on the final lap of the race, and look at 10th down to 17th there, that's eight cards, uh, eight cards, sorry, separated by just two uh, two seconds. Indeed it is, and as we look uh, for the O-plate results, it's going to be very close between the top three. I think we're going to get the, uh, an announcement on those shortly, as the driver is going to head back down into the pit lane. And from uh, the Formula Blue YouTube, we will be seeing you again in about two weeks, coming to you next round from Clay Pigeon.